the uh, reverse hyper and the Louis Simmons reverse hyper that's, that everybody knows and loves. Uh, I've, I've had more success loading that with a band resistance and less overall load, uh, forcing these guys to utilize the motor pattern I want. So they're stabilizing their pelvis, retroverted, now you see a lot of glute activation. The band is around the ankles. Uh, as we progress, we'll actually allow the athlete to expand his legs away, so he's getting some extension, abduction, and external rotation, which again calls up all the things, the parameters that the glute's going to be asked to do. If they do it right, they'll get off of that thing and their butt will be burning. If they do it wrong, their low back's going to be hurting and they're going to feel like they just got a hamstring workout. And so it's a good diagnostic for me. Hey, how'd that feel? First week, how'd that feel? Man, that, that really works my back. Ah, note to self, wrong, wrong firing pattern. Or man, my, that makes my hamstring sore. Again, I'm setting this guy up for a hamstring problem that he, that he doesn't need because of a silly exercise. So I need to set it up better and put him in a position to be successful. Now again, the, the bungee resisted step up now is setting them in a position where they don't have any load uh, throwing down yet. It's, it's, it's just their thigh weight. And so we've got very small amounts of weight in their hand or even a vest and we've got some bungee resistance behind that's forcing them again as an RNT to pull their center of mass forward. And now what I'm asking them to do is in one smooth motion apply force down into that box. They're having to drop a huge amount of stability through that hip and then use some of that stuff that we've worked into the squat to get them up through the box. And so there's a little bit of that horizontal that they got off of their slide lunge. There's a little bit of that, just that brute force extension that they got out of their squat. But more than anything, it's putting all those things together when they don't have the ability to pretense the muscle. And that's very similar to what they do in their first five to 10 yards is there's no ability to pretense. They're gonna throw a thigh down and all of a sudden the ground's gonna meet them halfway. <laughs> they better have things synced up or energy spills out the gate couple of sets we're at the end of our workout now so we're down to one to two sets or as a finishing exercise the, the reverse hyper will build up as high as 12 reps per set uh, the uh, bungee step up we're at six to seven to eight reps per set max we're not doing a whole lot of reps per set on that